Our first question for the day is, let me read it out for you. JJ is a microbiology student. He was doing research on optimum temperature for the survival of different strains of bacteria. And the study showed that bacterium X needs an optimum temperature of minus 31 degrees Celsius to survive, while bacteria Y needs an optimum temperature of minus 50 degrees. What is the temperature difference is the question. One, one and a half minute tops. So can I answer? Uh, yes, Pragya. Uh, I think it's minus 25. Minus Sir, it's minus 25 degrees Celsius. Okay. Okay. Uh, Vamika says plus 25 degrees Celsius. He's asking us the temperature. Sorry, sir, sorry, it's a typo. Okay. So, uh, Neha, can you explain to the class? Yes, sir, I can explain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Study showed that bacteria X needs an optimum temperature of 31 degrees Celsius. So, bacteria X needs 31 degrees Celsius to survive. Uh, while Bacteria Y needs an optimum temperature of minus 56 degrees Celsius. So, uh, so what we are going to do to find the answer is, we are going to subtract 56 from 31. Brilliant. Now, that is how you guys put it on paper. Now, I also told you guys start imagining things. He's asking us the difference. Simple. I have zero over here. So, and say minus 31 is somewhere over here. That means minus 56 is somewhere over here. All of you are following. Are all of you able to imagine? What is he asking us? This is the case for bacteria X. This is the case for bacteria Y. He is simply asking us the difference between these two. Obviously, it is 25 degrees. Yes or no? Are you guys able to imagine it on the number? Yes, is everyone clear? Can we move to the next question? Yes, yes sir. Please move on. So, sir, it's, it's uh, you know, positive 25. Correct. So, I have minus 56 minus of minus 31. So, it is minus 56. What is minus into minus? Because minus into minus is plus. Correct. So minus 56 plus 31 is going to give us minus 25 degrees. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Correct. Be careful with this question. But, sir? Yes? Can you put the slide before? Yes. You said it's minus 25 degrees Celsius, right? Correct. That's the difference in the temperatures. Sir, I yeah. think I was doing the next be, problem. It's going to be plus, right? It's, my, it's minus 31 degrees Celsius and minus 56 degrees Celsius, which is which both the, both the numbers are negative, so it has to be positive. No, exactly. That is where this this operation came into picture. So here there is one bacterium which is going to survive at minus 56. Correct? Right? Now the other is going to sub survive at minus 31. Okay. Are you okay? Are you can you uh, repeat your question? Yes, I think I'm I'm getting your question. Can you repeat it once? Uh Yashika? So I still didn't get it quite well. Uh, no, no. Uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, repeat it for me once. Um, there was there's some disturbance from here, so I can I'm not able to listen very well. What aren't you able to listen to? You just said something. Yeah, there's I said repeat what you just told me. Okay. I just couldn't hear you. That's what I'm saying. I didn't get it. I'm not able to hear you. There's some disturbances. You're not That's able to hear me. Okay. What I'm trying to say is that he's asking us the absolute temperature difference, basically. So, 
if I put in another way, for example, if I have minus 31 degrees, all right, minus of minus 56, this is going to be minus 31 plus 56, which is going to give us plus 25 degrees. Over here, we are getting plus 25. Over here, we are getting minus 25. He is asking us the absolute temperature difference between the survival of these two bacteria. He is not asking us about the sign. He is asking us about the absolute temperature difference. So the absolute temperature difference would be 25 degrees Celsius. That is what he is trying to explain. Is it now clear? But you said minus, I mean, negative, no. it's not the negative, but it's going to be positive, it should be positive, right? Right, so basically if I take minus 56 minus of minus 31, I will get negative. But the temperature difference in that order is bacterium X, that is the optimum temperature for bacteria X, minus the optimum temperature for bacteria Y. So that would be 25 degrees Celsius. Are we clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is a good question guys, we have to give you two to and a half minutes for this. We have P, Q, R and S, solve for P, Q, R and S and then he says arrange it in the ascending order. What would be the ascending order? Sir, how much minutes are you giving us to do this? Take your time, take your time. Put in the answers once you get in, but be quick. Okay, sir. Sir? Yes? Please don't tell out any of the answers. Pardon? I don't want you to tell the answers out, tell the answers before all of us are completed. Okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Sir, I have some doubt in the question R. Sorry. Then somewhere like minus bracket minus 21. Minus. Correct. What is it? Like two minus are there. Minus, minus 21. Correct. So the bracket represents multiplication. So you're going to do minus into minus is going to give you plus, right? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, okay. Minus of minus 21 is nothing else but plus 21. Clear? Okay, sir. Sir, can you please write me down the table of like minus minus is equal to positive because I haven't divided it down. Can you please give me that? I just wanted to note it down. Sir, I think the option isn't there. The correct option. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Sir, so shall I write down uh, what I think so? Yeah, yeah, sure. No, Pratya, 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 not individually, put it together. Uh, sir, I don't know to put down the answer part, like A, B, C, D, so like B part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. put in A, B, okay, 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 you put in three Bs, that's what I was wondering, why do you put in three Bs? Okay, I have bees. What about the others? Come on. Let's look at what it is. Sir, can you wait for, for five minutes? No, I can't wait for five minutes. I've already given you three, four minutes. You can't take ten minutes for a problem as simple as this, right? Yeah. So let me put it. P is minus 19 plus of minus 15. So this is minus 19 minus 15. So what is P? P is minus 34. All right. Now let's look at Q. Q is plus 18 plus of minus 53. That means plus 18 minus 53. So Q is equal to minus 35. All right. Now R. What about R? We have minus of minus 21 plus of minus 54. That is 21 minus 54. So R. What would 21 minus 54 be? I'm not going to keep writing all of them. Sir, what did you ask? Minus uh, 36. Sorry, one second, one second. 20, no, 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 wait. 
This is S. My bad. One second. I put. I guess R is thirty-six. No, no. Yeah, this is S. Eight second. S. Yes, yes. Yeah. S is minus of minus twenty plus fifty-four. Thirty-three. Yes. Minus thirty-three. Right. P Q S. Now let's look at R. Where do we? Where is R? Yeah, R is over here. So we have plus twenty plus of minus fifty six. So that is. I think it's minus thirty six. Perfect. We have P Q R S. Now, guys, if I have to plot a number line, all of them are in negative. That means I will have R somewhere over here. Then I will have. Q. Then I will have P. Then I will have S. That is, I will have minus thirty-six. I will have minus thirty-five. I will have minus thirty-four. I have minus thirty-three. Sir, I didn't understand how you got these whole sums. After all, I understood. I finished the entire thing, and you tell tell me how did you get? It. Okay, so anyway, the ascending is. Stuck at S. Pardon? I was stuck at S. Okay. S was kind of a bit difficult. Okay. So what is he? What is he asking us? He is asking us in the ascending order. That means smallest to largest. So out of these four numbers, which is the smallest? R is the smallest. Then we have Q. Then we have P. Then we have S. So option D is the right answer. Now, Neha, what is your doubt? Sir, how did you get that? Like P equal to minus nineteen plus minus fifteen. How do you get that answer? You are getting the introduction after the entire story. So I have mine. Look, P is given. This is what I am supposed to solve. I have minus nineteen plus of minus fifteen. What is plus into minus? Minus, right? You agree with me? Yes, yeah. sir. So that's why I got minus fifteen, minus nineteen. As it is, is written over here. So what is minus nineteen minus fifteen? Is it it minus thirty four? Nine. Okay, sir, I understand. Yeah. Sure. 